Beard. I mean, Whip's good. Whip's good, but it's not, like, amazing. Nick, Nick doesn't have they, a billion cards. Are they trying to figure out... I don't know what they're trying uh, to figure yeah, out. Yeah, are they trying to figure I out... Think, I, don't, I don't know if Charles has an upkeep effect or something like this. I don't believe so. Talking about life points. Like, it looks like a life discrepancy. A life dis- I've, 17, 13 is what I have as well. So, uh, it might be a life discrepancy. I, I really... I'm... I would have just rather gotten rid of the leeches another way. But he, I mean, you don't have any what, of those ways in your hand, and you're... Would it have been too much to ask if Tamir Charm was the one that dealt four damage, and Jeskai Charm had lifelink plus one plus one, ship a creature, and mana leak? Yeah, that would have been stupid. Would that have been too good? Yeah. Okay. I just... I, oh, God, would have been I mean, I in my head it sounded bad. Yeah, it would have been good, right? It would have yeah. been really good. But yeah, so this is like I don't, I don't Nick Nick can play a whip. It's not I don't think it's that great here. Actually, here you can take out the blood soak champion. Right? Yeah. No, well no. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah. Before okay. attacks, take out the blood soak champion. Man, he, he slammed that lightning strike on that thing. Yeah, but he's still just in such a bad position because he's been missed so many land drops. That's what that's what I don't and understand. He doesn't have blue mana and he draws. How much, how much land does he run? I don't know, but he drew another lightning strike, which is not awful because I think Nick's next turn is going to be Nick playing uh, a Herald of Torment. I, I can't imagine anything else. So, you know, he's going to play a Herald of Torment, I imagine, here. Or maybe whip back a Squelching Leeches to. Well, I asked you for five, but then your graveyard is just kind of bad, you know? Well, that's you don't right. have anything. Yeah. I mean, the whip the whip came in from the sideboard, so he's not he's not running at main board in the aggro yeah. list. I just... How, the Jeskai... The Jeskai control list, when we had it on stream... Oh, man, whip isn't even... Like, Jeskai charm is really good against whip, too. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, granted, it gives you the creature back. No, it oh no, because it's it ex exiled. exiled. Yeah, you're correct. I'm sorry. I've, I always forget the wording on whip. Yeah, so I mean, Charles is, has a bunch of tools here to fight back. He just needs to start hitting his land drops. I just feel like if you're playing a control list, you should be seeing land. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, we don't want to talk about my control deck I played in draft yesterday. I, I, don't, I don't know what you did in draft yesterday, but it wasn't it wasn't optimal. It was better than what you did, but apparently not. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyways. People would argue. <laughs> they're going to play a Herald of Torment. It's going to get, get lightning struck. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, we still need to take a damage, which is kind of unfortunate. That's what I... I don't like that much either. We, we really need to draw a blue... Uh, we need to draw an island here. Yeah. Or any land. There we go. That's it. Scry land. Did you see another land? I think another land. Okay. Sure. Keep it. There you go. And now Nick's going to whip something back. Then we're going to take two to put it back on top of his deck, but it's just going to get exiled. Oh. He drew a Buna Verabos, which is, uh, uh, like, not good here. Yeah, I'm not... Nick's just looking for creatures. He is, but I'm not thrilled about Boom. What does he got? He's just whipping back. I imagine he's going to whip back Squelching Leeches. And then Boon it? Could be. That'd be interesting. I don't know what it would do. No, you're going to whip back Herald of Torment. Yeah. Maybe we can get him to play this boon. Maybe he just, like, slams it. <laughs> just doesn't even just wait, doesn't even windmill, wait for us to respond. Yeah, Windmill slams the boon, doesn't care. We need to Jeskai Charm it here, though, because if Nick has another land in his hand, he can get back his... He can raid his uh, Bloodsoak champion. This is true. So I don't think we're going to get to the point where Nick's going to just enter combat and slam boon of Erebus on my guy. <laughs> that That's fine, yeah. <laughs> just to hit you, nug you for five, game five. It's so weird. So, Charles definitely, I mean, there's a case to be made that, I don't even know if, like, it's it's very good for Charles there to even, uh... Burn himself for two? Yeah, I think Charles has to burn himself for for two there because of the threat of Bloodsoak Champion. Sure. There's the argument to be made to just say, okay, I'm just going to take the three. Yeah. Because I'm taking two anyways. So here they need to make sure that they get this ruling right. Yeah, this is exiled. Because you're like, correct, the card like would be exiled. Going, yeah, whenever it leaves... Whenever it goes anywhere that's not a battlefield, it gets exiled. Correct. Yeah, so Oof. They did get it right? They got it. You great judge staff at Nerd Rage Gaming. Yeah, got we, right. got, we got CJ head judge today, so he's he's holding it down. So, Charles has another Jeskai charm, but yeah. that's going to cost one life 
He has an erase too. Just, so <sighs> Charles has got it all, man. He's gonna upkeep, upkeep a race. Yeah. All right. Now we're getting Can't there. Can't that, buddy. Nope. Not in the graveyard. There you go. He's got it. And Nick draws another land, so... So Charles, Charles might... could draw out of this. This is where you want to be. <laughs> this is what happens when you have, like, bad... Like, all these cards are dead. Bona Barabos is good. Yeah. Vile Blade, or a Crippling Blade, terrible in this matchup. Hero's Downfall, terrible in this matchup. I really... Like a Divination or a Prognostic Sphinx? Is oh, what do you do? oh, no, Jace! Jace, baby! He's here! Oh, cast him. Yeah! Get him. There it is. Take two, take oh. one to do it and let my opponent use a spell that they were I'm never going to use. I'm loving it. This card's so good. Look at the top two. I'm going to put one in my hand, one in the graveyard. Oh, put one on buddy. Oh, jeez! Karanos! Come on! It, no! Oh! He's a land, man. I wouldn't even do it like that. Don't even... Oh. oh come on. That was short-lived. Come on. I didn't know he had Hero's Downfall in his hand. Yeah. That's yeah, that is. Got a bunch of chunk at that no, is no, super no, short lived. Pile of Delta. Oh, jeez. Now I would have just kept the Karen. Nick's one uh, foil polluted Delta uh, worth more than his entire deck. Yes, correct. <laughs> Very true. So Nick flooding wow. out here also kind of has has cards in his deck that I think are pretty dead. Although, what if it let you? I just, I just want Jeskai Charm to like. Either be a mana leak, or I want it. I want it to be so much more. It's pretty good, man. Or like divination, like built in. Sure. Is that all right? Is that another a crippling blight? Double or a da another downfall. Oh, like, there our we opponent's go. gonna dig through time. Like, That's some magic. Nick is Nick is. This game is not looking up for Nick. Well, he's. I'd hate to say that he squandered his lead. Um, I I just think Charles. He, Nick squandered his lead when he sideboarded. Yes, that. Yes, that's true. I I think Charles has actually played around the threats that have been presented very well. Oh yeah, and he still has dissolve in his hand yes. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, this this game is looking pretty good for Charles. Nick doesn't have very much reach. Um, uh, well, not without the whip. I mean, no. Let's he, he let's has... assume he sideboarded in one of them. I I don't know. I mean, Nick's gonna go down to fifteen after a fetch. I imagine if he sideboarded in one of them, he sideboarded in both of them. I think Nick might have sideboarded just, like, transformational sideboard, but I don't know why we don't transform and take Crippling Blade out of our deck. I think I think you just remove that card. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, Charles is looking at Anger of the Gods, Dissolve, Jeskai Charm, Lightning Strike. Like, this is a pretty good dig through time. He's got one card face down that he's already taken. I didn't see Jeez. what it is. And the, those are the other cards that he could those take? Those are the other cards that he could Man, take. Man, that is, like, one of the better dig through times. That was a really seen. good dig through time. Mine are always, like, six lands and a, one those, and a thought seize. I can't even tell you how mad those make me, honestly. Does does Charles run Steam Augury? He does chance? not, no. Well, that would be an interesting card. I've I've never had a problem with Steam Augury. So, Charles did exile the correct amount of cards. So. Yes. I think Nick's more checking what are the possibilities that my opponent can draw here. I mean, like, yeah. what? Uh, he's going to look. Draws Brother a dissolve, dissolve. Drops a card. Yes. Plays a temple. What do you see on top? It's another temple. You want that? No, oh, you got Jeskai, Dissolve. Brumaz. Ooh, he's got a Brumaz. Ooh. Yeah, so I, I think we probably pass with Dissolve up. And then next turn we can bring next turn you play dissolve your, up. Yeah, with dissolving up. Oh, then do we see the Jeskai charm for the life link in the plus one plus one after you make a bunch of barrage tokens? I don't think so. I don't think that. I don't think Charles knows that's a mode. Oh, it's got. It's a mode though. I don't Just think kill a person. I don't think he knows it's a mode. I'm just so mad. Uh, so, so there is a hero's downfall, a crippling. Well, it looks like two boon of Erebos, crippling blight, hero's and downfall. hero's downfall. So you definitely want to be safe with your barrage plays. Yeah, ship it. Yeah, don't keep. I'm it. still gonna play my Brahmas. I'm. I will. I'm not gonna not play my Brahmas. No, you play the Brahmas right now. Yeah, and if he wants to, to downfall it, that's fine. I'm gonna dissolve it. Yeah. Kidding me? He has, I mean, clearly has nothing. He has how seven much, lanes. How much mana do you think he'd actually dump into that? Though, would you? Would you? Uh, if you're Nick, would you try to crippling blight it first, or would you just try to kill it? Try to kill it. Yeah. yeah. And then you I don't even try to kill it. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna play it. Yeah, and, and this is gonna get downfall. I imagine. Nick's got to know that. Does Bunaveravos get minus minus in, in any situation? Is no, it, like it does not. Right, so no. there's the dissolve. Yeah, so there's the dissolve. I'm gonna scry off of it. What do you see? 
And so, like, this is a window for Nick to resolve oh. something good. Like, a squelching leech's gear would be pretty good. Would be really strong. Uh, it would just get... Uh, Ooh, like, Thotsies is okay. No, it's pretty bad, dude. We're behind on more Thotsies is not very good. I just feel like you can see what else your opponent has to present and to the And Leeches isn't even that great here, because uh, Nick has Just Guy Charm Dissolve combo. Mm -hmm. So He's going to see a Prognostic Sphinx, a Dissolve, and a Just Guy Charm. I imagine taking the Dissolve? Mm. I mean, none of these cards are very good for us. Prognostic Sphinx, I think, is the least of our worries, although it does block all of our best threats against, like, although it, it blocks Herald of Torment, it doesn't really block, uh, I mean, Man's of the Feast all that well. The, the real question is, I mean, you're gonna Crippling Blight the Bramas, right? Is that what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, you gotta. You have to, right? I mean, Just gotta, to lower damage output? Yeah, gotta use the junk in your hand. So... Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, that card just makes it so we can't ever play cards. Right. So you might as well get get rid of the... And then this will be the Blight. Boom. Okay. Show so. it to him and then sideboard it out. I love it. <laughs> he keeps it in his deck. I don't love it. I hate it. I have to imagine that card is awful against Sphinx. Like, <laughs> when, when does that card ever hit your Prognostic Sphinx? I have to imagine that card is just awful. So I just play the Prognostic here. Uh, yeah. And then but I just... Why I, not? Why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Yeah, what's Jessica Sherm doing for me? Nothing. So Nick's going to take two, right? No, he's going to no, take, take three. three. I forgot, Bramaz is a 3-4. So this is interesting. I, I think you just play the Sphinx. Yeah, I uh, You're an Sphinx. open board. Not to mention... Can you anger the gods it look like? But you don't even... Yeah, you don't even need the anger of the gods. This is the point where you play your Sphinx and you ditch the anger. Yeah, he agrees. Yeah. Don't I worry. Just, Calm down, friend. I can't... I like the Sphinx. The Sphinx is such a good card. Yeah, it's... Here. I mean, it laughs at Stormbreath. Right? Nick draws another kind of like reactive is a downfall. Like, a downfall? Like another reactive card. So I'm hit if he tries to downfall the Bramaz. I, I feel like Nick did trans like have transform his sideboard. He brought in all these heroes downfalls, and he's like trying to out control the, the control, control list, which is never which good. This is not you just working won't for win. him. Yeah. Be like, oh, you drew. You're playing a control deck, and you drew. Boon of Erebos and Crippling Blight. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to draw Dissolve, Dig Through Time, and actual cards. Yeah. This will I, be fun. It, it's interesting because I, I think you're right. I think Nick did not sideboard correctly. No. While on the other hand, Charles uh, seemed to choose pretty much essentially the cards he needed. He's like, I'm going to bring in the Bramazes, the Erases, and then I'm going to card advantage you. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I think this might have been Nick's plan. Nick's been, like, getting people all night by, like, transforming from his aggro deck into his so mid-range deck. Or, sure. like, a control-ish list. Yep. Uh, but well, you got to think about what you're doing. Yeah. And going from the, the deck that is heavily favored to beat the control deck sure. in the aggro deck to the deck that probably can never beat the control deck in the, like, mid-range deck Squelching that leeches ha with has range. a bunch of garbage in it still. Uh, that's just... Not well, here, here we see him going back to the sideboard now, and it looks like he took out the gnarled the Scar gnarled scarhides are out. The Mogus Marauders are out. So did he did he take out a majority of his faster creatures? Yeah. I can't yeah. imagine that's the right play. No, it's definitely not the right play. So he looks like he's unsideboarding from his mid range deck, but it looked like he still left. Uh, uh, some of the... It looks like he left the Mocus Marauders in there. I didn't see him pull those aside. Man, yeah, Mocus Marauders are so good. Or even Tormented Hero, like... I mean, Torment maybe, maybe Nick's on, like, a play-draw thing, where on the play he's going to be an aggro deck, on the draw he's going to be, you know... Which I feel like is okay, but then there's other cards I'd like to see. And I was, I was talking to some of the guys about this in between rounds. Like, I feel, I feel like a black-red or a black-white uh, kind of aggro... Aggro list will be a thing, especially since you have in Fate Reforge you have that new Blood Chief. That's essentially a New Age Hell Rider. Yeah, but you can't. I don't know. You can't redirect damage. It doesn't have haste. I agree, uh, but you have cards but that yeah, supplement it's, that. It's like, it's... like where's the where's the two one with raid that when you play it your opponent discards a card. Like, I feel like that's a card that Nick could have played in this sideboard. Sure. That's a it's a body. It has an effect, and it. But once again, that I don't think that's what Nick's trying to do. Nick's trying to just present two decks, uh, one, uh, one an uh, aggro deck, and then transform into a. Into the mid range deck. Yeah, I don't. And I think in certain situations it works because you go from oh my opponent's going to bring in anger of the gods and all these like you know 
lightning strikes and sure. magma sprays and stuff, and I'm going to play a 